Now, there's been a rise in violence among young, the younger crowd in the area, leaving many parents worried. There are, though, extra steps you can take to keep your kids and family safe. First News reporter Hannah Erdman is live in our newsroom explaining. Yes, good morning. That rise of gun violence, specifically in the youth generation, has been pretty alarming. This week, I spoke to Human Op Director Joyce Alexander. She's part of this outreach group, basically trying to help parents and kids create a safe home environment while also try to begin opening up those discussions that are a little bit tough sometimes. But the first thing parents should do is pledge that their home is a safe home. And you can do that on their website, wearesafehomewytown.com, and pledge that your home is a safe home. Now, what does this mean? Your home is drug free. Firearms and alcohol are locked in a secure place and youth that will be at your home will not be left unattended. Then you and other parents can see who has a safe home and vice versa. It's something that it protects our young people for where they're going. Um, you know, when they get together, it's saying that this home is safe for our young people to go into. Humanop will be at the Canfield Fair giving away some goodies and information for families to help promote this campaign. If you're looking to pledge your home as a safe home, you can find all the information on our website, WKBN.com. Now in the next half hour, I'll explain to you how you can get your kids involved in the community and what they can do to become more involved. But for now, live in the newsroom, Hannah Erdman, First News This Morning.